Welcome to the familiarization session on the world around us, our scholastic EBS learning program. Hello friends, my name is Neelam Narang and I'm subject matter expert with Scholastic India. As the name suggests, this session will help you to be completely familiar and comfortable with this program. The World Around Us is a unique and highly effective program for teaching environmental concepts. In this session, I will cover four main points. The key features of the program, three major components of this program, the pedagogy used in the lessons, and at the end, I will take you through a lesson from grade to book. Let's look at the key features of this program, which will help you to deliver your lessons in a systematic, meaningful and engaging way. The first and the foremost is its instructional design. The 5 year approach for teaching is consistent within and across the grades. This instructional design will help you to generate curiosity, and build scientific aptitude amongst your students. I will explain this approach in detail in the following slides. The activities in this book are designed in a way that they help you to develop and improvise the key skills like critical thinking, creativity, and collaboration in your students. The learn more section in the book will help you to make your students independent learners. As in this section, they will be trained to use various resources like encyclopedia, atlas, and internet extensively. You are also provided with various tools to evaluate your children. The evaluation is ongoing process throughout the chapter. And at the end, you will have variety of questions like subjective type questions, objective type questions, subject enrichment task, as well as different worksheets are given. Now let me take you through the components of this program. This program is from grade one to five. There are three major components. First is the course book. Second, is the teacher's manual, which is an excellent tool for you to design your lesson plans. The third is the digital content. The digital content is not the repetition of the content which is given in the lessons of the book. It is rather a slight extension of the same. You all can retrieve the digital content with the help of a web link, which will be shared with you later. In the course book, there are four interesting sections for different activities which will support to attain lesson objectives. Explore, to explore something new. Learn more, to extend the knowledge independently. Fantastic, interesting nuggets of information. And circle time, to communicate and share different viewpoints. Let's now take the pedagogy in detail because this is how you all need to execute the lessons in your classes. With 5E instructional design, you all can deliver your lessons in a systematic, meaningful and engaging way. And this instructional design is consistent for all the chapters in all the grades. To start with engagement, for every chapter, engaging activity is given in the teacher manual in the before you begin section. These activities are designed for students to make connection with their previous knowledge and the upcoming topic. Second step is explore. Every chapter starts with an explore activity. These activities are designed to explore and generate curiosity for the upcoming topic 
amongst the children. After that is explanation. Detailed illustrations, live pictures, timeline charts will make your explanation very clear and precise. And then for extension, there is learn more section that will help your students to extend their knowledge extensively and independently. At the end is evaluation. There are variety of exercises given at the end of every chapter, including HOTS, value-based questions and subject enrichment tasks. As a teacher, we all need to design our lesson plans. The teacher manual is an excellent tool to provide you guidelines which will support you to design an effective lesson plan. It has all the lesson objectives clearly outlined, engaging activities to introduce the concepts, the detailed execution plan for the activities like ex explore, learn more, circle time and subject enrichment tasks. And apart from that, additional activities with every lesson and answers of all the questions. Let's do a chapter walkthrough for better understanding of these features. I request you to open your grade 2 book. I'll take you through chapter number 1, My Body. This chapter is about making the children understand the similarity and differences in physical features of human body and detailed study of internal organs. To initiate the chapter and to link the children with their previous knowledge, we need to do before you begin activity from teacher manual page number three, which is related to the revision about external organs that students have learned in grade one. Every chapter starts with explore activity. In this activity, the child is supposed to observe his or her friend and tick the following box showing the different physical features. The detailed illustration on page number eight of internal organs will make our explanation extremely easy. Factastic is there for sharing interesting facts. In this chapter, it is about twins. And in circle time, students will discuss the importance of maintaining good posture. And before evaluation, every lesson ends with an extremely interesting activity in learn more section. In this particular learn more section, students will discuss the specific sounds which make them happy. Self-evaluation is necessary for children as well. For that, we have self-check section where all the key learning points are given with check boxes. The structure of practice exercises are consistent for all the lessons. Practice exercises starts with objective type questions. The first two questions are objective type questions like puzzles, fill up, tick yes or no, or write true or false. For part three, the first three questions, A, B, and C are subjective type question. And part E, D, and E are multiple choice question to provide children practice for science Olympiad and essay examination. The hot questions are of creativity, analysis, and synthesis level to improvise higher order thinking skills of students. Part four is for give reasons to improvise students' reasoning skills. Value-based questions are related to common values, which includes discussions on some actionable plan to imbibe that value. As per CBSE, we all need to give 10% weightage to subject enrichment tasks. In part six of the practice exercises, interesting activities are already designed for subject enrichment. We suggest you all to do these activities as group activities. Details of how to conduct these activities and answers of all the questions are there in the teacher manual. 
So overall, this program will make your teaching thoroughly joyful and engaging. That's all about it for today from my side, friends. Thank you so much for listening in. In case you have any query or you want a detailed lesson demonstration, please get in touch with my colleague Anuradha Das Gupta to the given email address. Till then, enjoy your teaching and God bless.